Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I went shopping at the Superstore Grocery Shopping and I picked up a few things, uh, some new makeup. I am also making a marinara sauce in my crock pot for the first time, so I will show you guys that recipe, um, a couple cleaning products that I got, and a little mini, mini clothing haul. So if you guys haven't already, it would be so amazing if you could subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see everything that I got at the Superstore today, then just keep watching. So this is all the ingredients that's going to go into the crock pot. So as I'm putting the ingredients in, I will just list off what I'm doing. So yeah, I got to get this in quickly because... Both my boys have hockey tonight and I need this to be done when they get home from school. So I put in about a cup of olive oil, the onion, and the six cloves of garlic. I put in half of a jalapeno. I put in about, I'd say, half a teaspoon of marjoram and about half a teaspoon of dried basil. I'm going to blend up the three cans of the whole tomatoes and then I'm going to add the one can of the crushed tomato. All right, I've added all the tomatoes. I added a lot of salt. Um, I just, my mother-in-law, I think she uses quite a bit of salt and it just really enhances the flavor. So this is kind of like a mix of what my mother-in-law would put in and what my dad would put into his spaghetti sauce. So sometimes my kids love it, sometimes they don't. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of fresh parsley as well and a little bit of black pepper. So I've added the finely, well as finely as I could, chopped the parsley and a handful of some Parmesan cheese. So now I'm going to put on the lid and let it cook for about three hours um, and I will let you know how it goes. This could totally be an epic fail and I made some beef on a bun the other day for the first time with the crock pot and the kids loved it. So. I have my fingers crossed that this will be good. I thought this would be a good little treat snack when you like have a sweet tooth and you need something uh, midday. So I got this classic base, 
base, I don't know how to say it, trail mix. So it has peanuts, raisins, roasted almonds, milk chocolate candy, and then I'm going to mix in some yogurt covered raisins as well. All right, so I picked up a Milani Conceal and Perfect powder foundation. I've never tried a powder foundation before, so um, I just really wanted to try one and I didn't want to um, splurge on an expensive one unless I knew that I really liked it. So I always hear Allie Gines, I think that's how you say her last name. Um, talking about the Milani bronzer and I haven't picked it up yet but I really want to but she loves that bronzer so I was like I have one of their blushes I like it so this was on sale so I thought why not try it out so it has a little sponge at the back with it but I'm just gonna go in with a brush so I've applied sunscreen to my face and now I'm just gonna take my flat Cover XF cover FX brush and then just go in. I got the color natural beige, so let's see how this goes. It might be a little dark for my face, but because I have a tan right now, oh yeah, it comes off in the pan. Um yeah, it may be a little dark. They didn't have very many to choose from because they were on sale right now. So I think a few people scooped them up, but it's a nice light coverage. You could wear it over your foundation as a setting powder or wear it alone. So I figure why not try it alone? I don't know how my concealer will sit on top of this, but we'll see. So putting it on alone is just, there's not really much coverage, but it's a nice soft finish. Like, on camera it looks nice. Yeah, I don't know if I'm sold on a powder foundation. Well, not this one anyways, but I will try it over my foundation. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then I will show you what it looks like and I will also show you how it wears throughout the day. Right, so I went in with my concealer today. I used the Kylie Jenner Skin Conceal. I've been using this lately. Um, I like how liquidy it is and I find that it's not... Um, Creasing or mattifying. So I really, I've been using this a lot lately um, over the Fit Me. I still love that the best, but I've just been using that a little more. So I went in with the, that for concealer and the Kat Von D Translucid Setting Powder. I also used, um, instead of a cream contour today, I just went in with the Hoola Bronzer and a fan brush. A nice trusty old fan brush very old I think it has hockey tape on it to hold it together and I just went in and did my contour with that and I used the Milani blush the color luminoso whoa yes I went in with that so I think that it's definitely something I could work with and get used to. I like that it gives you kind of more of a natural finish and not so um, makeup-y. So we'll see how it sets in um, a little later on in the day. 
but next I'm going to show you guys a couple cleaning products that I got from the Superstore as well as some clothes that I picked up because their clearance stuff was on for an additional 30% off for I think from 17th to the 26th. So I will do a little try on with the clothes that I got, but first I'm going to show you guys some cleaning products. All right, so even though it is only the third week in January, I feel like I'm already getting that spring cleaning urge, that itch to just purge everything. I have to organize my clothes at some point. So I think I will do a video on that and just bring out all my clothes, organize them and separate them into what I'm donating, what I'm getting rid of, uh, all of that. So I think I've just, yeah, I've been in more of the cleaning mood lately now that Christmas is over and all that it's kind of everything's kind of died down a bit so I picked up I've been loving the method brand for cleaning my best friend got me hooked on the grapefruit spray it smells so good it doesn't have that chemically smell like it smells like grapefruit so I've been using that and their dish soap so I picked up um, the method squirt and mop wood floor cleaner so it says it's for hardwood and laminate um i did a cleaning video that i have uploaded before this um and i was mopping and then i was just looking at the laminate later on and it just was streaky and i had to go over it with the spray and wipe it down so when i saw this i was like i need to try it and it smells oh my goodness so it smells like almonds this smells like a shampoo that we used to use in the hair salons. I can't remember what it was called. Maybe something almond, but it smells so good. So I can't wait to try that out, especially on my black hardwood, which is so streaky. And the other thing I picked up was this Wyman stainless steel fridge cleaner. So for however long I've had my fridge, I've always just tried to use vinegar and water and no, it just, it doesn't cut it. So I will show you on my fridge one side that I did with this cleaner and then the other gross part of my fridge. All right, so you can see right there down in the middle, like this is the middle <laughs> of how clean it got my disgusting fridge so i can't wait to use that all over and i just use a an old i think it was a pillowcase as just as a rag so i can't wait to finish cleaning that so now i am just gonna go and show you guys the clothes hey breezy hey breezy girl all right so this is the first piece that I will show you that I picked up. It's a velour jumpsuit. I probably could have sized down in an extra small. It's quite roomy, um, but for the price, like I could just make do because it's comfortable. It doesn't ride up the front or the back, which tends to happen with jumpsuits when you're a little bit taller. So it was originally $40 and then I think it was like $11.94, so $12 plus an extra 30 off. So for that price, if I don't love it, I can always give it to someone. The second thing I got were these burnt sienna, let's call them, is that what you call it? Um, velour cord cropped mid-rise pants i've been looking at them every time i go there and i was like i don't want to spend 40 dollars. they were 34 i don't want to spend 40 dollars on them because i don't know if i'll wear them or whatever and all they had all i thought that they had was a zero because that's where i saw them but i found another stash so i found a size two they were on sale for $9.94, so $10, plus an extra 30% off, and they are so comfortable. Like, I'll probably wear them out today. They are so comfortable. I can't wait to wear them in the springtime with just 
a tank, um, a jean jacket, some sneakers, some sandals. So absolutely love these. And I will link, I'll try to link all the clothes in the description box. All right, this is the third piece. Um, it's just this plaid print, more sort of workwear dress top. I got it in an extra small. Um, it looks better tucked in, I think, on me than it does untucked. And it was $10 and 30% off. So I just paired it with these high rise uh, Versace denim jeans that my best friend's mom found for us at a yard sale so each got a pair like they're so cute so comfortable and a nice high-rise fit so I just paired it with that um it's not I'm not in love with it I, I do I like the colors but I'll just have to find um some different ways of pairing it all right, I got this top and I am on a whole nother level of static right now. Like my hair, this silky shirt, I'm just staticling everywhere. But so I got this silky top and it has a really cute mesh see-through detailing on it there. And it has adjustable straps as well. So this was six. 94 so seven dollars plus 30 percent off so i just paired it with some high rise skinny jeans and i could also wear it with blue jeans black jeans I could wear it with a pencil skirt um you could wear it with flowy pants sweatpants you could wear it with anything it is a little boxier i find um even being an extra small so it looks nicer when it is tucked in and this is the last thing I got, uh, this long, soft, flannelly, feely, feely, feel, um, gray shirt, and it's more oversized. I did get it in a small. I tried it on in a large because I was wanting the sleeves to be longer, but the sleeves were not that much longer, so I figure I go with the small because it was fitted better to my shoulders and down here it was kind of belling out like it wasn't it wasn't giving a nice shape of bulkier to smaller it was like tight to big it wasn't good so I just went with the small and it's so comfortable and so warm um, this one was on sale for $9.99 and 30% $9.94 30% off as well so I really love it um, I could see it with jeans as well and just even open with sweatpants super comfy and cozy yeah so that is what I got all right this is my foundation check-in so without being a lot of coverage there's not really a lot to look at here but it looks nice I will probably still work with it and keep using it um, the pasta, the sauce, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. My youngest didn't, but he doesn't like any of my sauces. My middle one was so-so, so I still have to see what my older son and my husband think of it, but it was pretty good. Um, I don't know if the onions cook the right way in it. Like, I think if you fried the onions and the garlic first together in a frying pan, then maybe it would be better. And then you add it into the crock pot, so I'll have to kind of play around with it a bit, but I thought it was pretty good. So anyways, this is the foundation. I like it. Not so much coverage, but I think it's really pretty. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon.